Miracle Boy Boxing. I am your host, Osin Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk to you guys about Shokichi Iwata. Who's Shokichi Iwata? Well, he's one of Japan's um, top rising fighters um, at 108 pounds. Really talented guy, man. And, uh, you know, I'm fascinated with Japanese boxing. I've said it before in videos. In some of my videos, Japanese boxing is it. It's where it's at. And ain't stopping. Ain't stopping. You know, there's always talent from rank fighters from 1 to 10 to 20, man. It's crazy. If you look at box rec, there's nothing but four stars and up all the way from rankings from 20 and up and to 1. It's crazy. Be that as it may, Shokichi Iwata is one of those talented fighters. Fast, explosive, can box, can punch. Um, typical Japanese fighter, man. A lot of these Japanese fighters, they got that explosiveness in them, in them, the timing there, the power, and of course, the, the way they fight, man. They go in there with their heart, soul, and everything, man. They give it their all 100%, and Shokichi Iwata is no different. Just the way they fight, just the way they train, something about them over there, man. It just is in them. But Shokichi Iwata, for those of you that don't know, he's actually um, he's actually uh, one of the best Japanese boxers today, in my opinion. Um, I got Hunto Nagatani as my favorite. Um, Kenshiro Taraji is number one in a lot of people's and a lot of people in fans' eyes. Um, and I don't blame them. Kenshiro is is a beast but Shokichi Iwata is a future beast in his weight class and in the future and whatever weight class he he decides to uh, fight at one of the best I've seen do mitts the crazy is the crazy combinations on the mitts and the explosiveness hitting the pads and, and the pads is flying off his trainer's hand it's crazy I've seen videos fluent combination just the speed the explosive power one minute you see him tap 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 and tap in the mitts very relaxed and the next thing you know he's bursting with a with a he's bursting with energy with explosiveness in the common in the mitts and it's just f scary man Shokichi Wada is, is 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 the future for sure man he, he may have fallen short in his first world title shot in, in October 2022 against Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez um, it may have been uh, a repeat like when, when like when Bomba fought uh, Giovanni Segura from Mexico veteran Mexican fighter um, won world titles already and all that Bomba was like what 23 years old with 10 fights it was a bit early for Bomba to take that fight I mean no one knew at the time until the rebel wrong you know Bomba he got smashed in four rounds, and they, you know, the fight got stopped in Puerto Rico. So, so Kichiwara did the same thing more or less with Bomba now, in reverse, because now Bomba is the veteran, and here comes Shokichiwara, the young up and comer, just like Bomba was against Giovanni Segura. And Bomba, Bomba, it was a competitive fight early, but then you know, Bomba used his experience, used the ring, his ring IQ, and the experience took a play and just outboxed Shokichiwara. For 12 rounds, majority of the fight, and got the unanimous decision to retain his title. So Kichi Wada definitely learned from it. Um, he's on a three-fight winning streak, taking two tune-ups since that loss, and then he, he 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 got a victory the other day, pretty solid win against Rene, um, what's his name, Rene Mark Quarto from the Philippines, former IBF flyweight champion of the world. He knocked him out in six rounds. That was a that was pretty good. That was the best win of his career, knocking off a former world champion, knocking him out, and he looked sensational doing it. You know, Shokichi Wada. If you look at him, he's a very complete fighter, man. He's got skills, he got power, speed, combinations, timing, explosiveness, <laughs> and he's still learning. Still learning. Um, definitely, like I said, he learned from the Bomba loss. And if you look at box rec, actually, if you look at box live rankings, he's actually number one ranked in the WBO so you know a rematch of Bomba may be in the future as long as Bomba holds on to the title then a rematch is likely to happen sometime in the future you know Shokichi Wada like I said is number one contender is the number one ranked fighter in the WBO um, and 
when I saw that, I said, okay, maybe a rematch is likely to happen, and it, it, it's a, it's a, it'll make sense, you know. Shokichi wanted to avenge that loss and redeem himself and, sh and, and show the world that he has improved and learned from the loss. Um, but then again, Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez has an assignment on March 2nd against Rene Santiago, who's his mandatory and the interim WBO champion, flyweight champion. So, mini flyweight champion. Once Bomba gets done with Rene, if he's able to beat him, then, you know, there's an option there for a rematch to give Iwata a rematch or the Kinshiro fight, which is the biggest, one of the biggest fights at 108 pounds. Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez versus Kinshiro Taraji, likely, definitely, likely, most likely will take place in Japan. Um, Kinshiro has never fought outside of Japan. I don't think so. And usually that's how these Japanese fighters do it. It's, it's, it's rare you see them come over to America and fight. Junto has done it, but you know, it, it, he, he hasn't done it much. And like many Japanese fighters, most don't even come out of Japan and, and fight. They stay in Japan and whoever, is in, whoever they fight, whether it's from the Philippines, Puerto Rico, Mexico, um, you get United States, they travel to Japan because they pay a lot of money over there. Um, and um, Bomba is definitely, in my opinion, he's definitely going to go back to Japan and defend his crown if he's able to defend it against Rene. And that... Kenshiro fight, um, if the Kenshiro fight presents itself, Bomba will definitely go up to Japan, go back to, up to Japan and defend against Kira Kiraji, Taraji, to the, you know, to unify, because they pay a lot of money. Um, so that's that. But um, Shokichi Iwata, man, he's something to watch, man. If you've never seen this guy, check out his Instagram, Shokichi Iwata. Slash dash Tokyo. Very, very explosive network. Awesome, awesome talent, man. This is the the fight that he beat uh Mr. Rene Cuarto from the Philippines. This is his last this is this was Chikichi Chokichi Water's last fight. Check it out. This is how he won. In six rounds, that's what he did to a former world champion. He was not an old man, neither. He just... Shokichi was just too much for him. Bomba outboxed Shokichi Wada 12 rounds, right? In their title fight. Three fights later, Shokichi Wada knocks out a former world champion in six rounds. Who's not an old man. Which makes the win for Bomba over Iwata looks the more this is the thing, the more Iwata wins, the more impressive the win over Iwata looks on Bomba's resume. That was a solid win for Bomba at the time. Bomba went over there to Japan and uh to defend his title, uncharted territory. They set it up for this it was like a coronation for Iwata and Bomba went over there and outbox him and, and retain his title. But like I said, he may have learned from this, from that loss. Three fights in now, he comes and stops a former world champion in six rounds. So Shokichi Wada, man, he's something to watch. I'm looking forward to his future. I follow him on Instagram, of course. Been following him for since the Bomba fight. Even though he lost, I still follow him, man. Uh, like I said, I'm, I, I like Japanese boxing. I'm fascinated with them. Um, I like how they do things. Um, they're passionate about the sport. One of the best it's one of the best boxing countries in the world. Japan. And um and Shokichi Wara, he defeated Kosai Tanaka, who's one of the top Japanese fighters in the world today, in the amateurs. He beat Kosai Tanaka in the amateurs. So Shokichi Wara, it's um He's a hell of a fighter. It's a hell of a fighter, and he's just getting started. He's twenty seven years old, still young. Um, he's going to start it. And he's going to be a world champion. He may have lost his opportunity against Bomba. His shot, not shot, but, you know, when they fought, he may have lost to Bomba in that title fight. But he will be back and he in the world title shot picture, world title picture, and he will be world champion. Mark my words. He will be world champion. Shokichi Iwata, 11-1, and one, and I believe nine knockouts. So he's he got power in both hands. He's explosive, quick, timing. Precision, something to watch. America with Boxing. I'm your host, Wilson Cruz, here talking to you guys about Shokichi Iwata out of Japan.
who came off a six-round sensational knockout over Rene Quattro from the Philippines, two-time, or well not two-time, but former world champion, IBF flyweight, former IBF flyweight champion, knocking him out in six rounds impressively. Miracle Boxing, like I said, this is your host, Hosting Cruz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing right here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.